hi viewers we are uh, last three sessions we are discussing how to select the record from the database using the entity framework code first approach so i have views i have models so here i have the model name student fine uh, now the thing is like we have to work with the controller so we have view and model so how to interact to view to model and how to get the data from the model and how to display the data to the view so let's uh, i go and create on instance of the database so for that what i going to do is i just open up with that before that i just want to uh, refer my model so that i can easily interact with uh, my day my model controller so what i'm going to do is i just select my app model okay now i have the reference of model here my database uh, classes m vc app db this is my db instance okay now i have the db instance now what i am going to do is i just uh, create see uh, i need like a list of models so what i am going to do is i just going to create an instance with a model okay fine in view i need students object so uh, what i am going to do is i just uh, passing uh, into the student student stood something okay here i have the instance my database dot my database name is students so actually here the thing is like this is actually the student model so what i going to do is uh, instead of doing that i just passing the directly my list to here because uh, why i am doing this Uh, this is actually the i enumerable i enumerable is like it's contain the list of uh, 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 it's actually the list with the property students so uh, uh, this actually db set represent as a list of uh, student property so this now act as a list so i no need to uh, pass into the model or loop here so this is a one better option uh, in razor view here we found something like for each we can um, loop the model and we can uh, append the rows as much we, we have in a database so fine now uh, everything is as in so fine so thing is like um, i want to get this uh, control to be accessed somewhere so what i am going to do is um, i just go and edit my layout this is actually in my shared folder instead of about or okay no fine i'll just add one more um, my li copy okay now i have the set of li okay this is a students okay uh here my action is index my control is 
student so I'm boxing like that and I'm going to debug my application we'll see how it works initially our application needs something to be configured so this is our first dynamic uh, things we are loading in our site so please watch carefully initially it will may occur some errors we have to fix it Okay, fine. I'm just going to click my student. Let's keep on running. First time it's built all my uh, DLLs. Okay, network path was not found. So the real thing I need to fix this error. So we have to find out what is the exact error here. Okay, mm, what is the problem actually here? Actually, the problem was I gave the a data source uh, I with the bracket. So this is the issue actually. So I fixed. Apart from everything is seems to be working fine. It's good to see that. Okay, fine. We'll move on the next process start without debugging just keep your eyes happy we will going to show see some data from the database using a first application of our MVC okay count and start three two one yeah we have the data in our uh, pages by using MVC so now we have the data exactly like Arun marks phone numbers created date Everything it comes under display You see here. I selected my database And I have Arun marks 87 phone number uh, If you don't know how to add the records in the database or how to do that please follow up my previous video to to get understand the things okay now we have the list of things to be displayed this is how we select from the database so let me see how to edit how to see the details of the list how to create how to delete all the things in a future session thanks for watching the video please follow up the videos to get entire structure of MVC